The UN vote arrived at the last minute. They know it. Any advance on Benghazi or Tobruk now, and Gaddafi's forces could be hit from the air. The UN resolution was clear. Paragraph 4 authorizes states to take all necessary measures to protect civilians and civilian populated areas under threat of attack. Paragraph 6 decides to establish a ban on all flights in the airspace of the Libyan Arab Jumahuria in order to help protect civilians. This explains why Libya has now entered the diplomatic battle in order to head off airstrikes. It may not work. <laughs> Therefore, Libya has decided an immediate ceasefire and the stoppage of all uh, military operations. Colonel Gaddafi's ceasefire is a gamble on his reading of the resolution. So long as his forces don't attack civilians, they won't be hit. That may be true of the ground forces, but critically, the resolution allows the no-fly ban to be enforced with or without a ceasefire. Britain, France and many other countries read that as giving them legal cover if they decide to bomb Libya's air defences in order to protect their pilots. What the international community has done is come together, frankly, in a quite unprecedented way and voted to say there has to be a proper ceasefire, there has to be the stop of this attack on civilians and the murder of his own people, and if that doesn't happen, the international community has given permission that we, along with others, playing a proportionate and sensible role, can stop that from happening. Surveillance planes will be used to watch for any ground or air movement by Libyan forces. The American aircraft carrier, Enterprise, may be repositioned off Libya. French, Canadian and possibly some Arab warplanes will also be involved. It's only the first move. Colonel Gaddafi's refusal to hear the repeated calls uh, up until now to halt violence against his own people has left us with no other choice but to pursue this course of action. While this resolution is an important step, it is only that, an important step. We and our partners will continue to explore the most effective measures to end this crisis. And in the longer term, the rebels will be armed. Gaddafi may not go away, but neither will Resolution 1973. And all the time, his regime will be squeezed. To Marshall, Sky News.